You ever see like a typical alpha male and you wonder to yourself, what would it be like to switch places with him and experience his reality with women in particular for just a day? Watch this video and I'm gonna tell you about how it's actually possible. So an alpha type male is somebody that just kind of says whatever they want. They're not really too worried about, you know, if it's received well or not. There's somebody that isn't afraid to project their voice to be seen and to be heard and to go into the world and get what they want right which oftentimes includes women so it's actually a pretty cool setup right and we just kind of see what's on the outside okay this guy um you know lifts weights uh okay this guy maybe has a tan okay this guy um you know has charisma okay this guy has all these things on the exterior but we know don't necessarily realize you know what has gone into the creation of this human being and i'm not going to tell you in this video it's like hey bro you can be like that guy too, just get in the gym, right? I'm not gonna talk to you about life choices, but what I am gonna tell you about is beliefs shape your reality. So if you want to experience the universe of a different person, believe me, we all operate on different energy frequencies and we all live in different universes, so to speak. If you wanna see what it's like to have universal acceptance around you and to be well received by women and people in general, you have to change your belief system. So what are some of the common beliefs of the alpha type male? Number one, always assume women are into you. If you go talk to a girl and you expect that she's gonna treat you well, then of course, you're more likely to power through the discomfort of approaching a new person. Number two, I'm gonna get what I want. I'm gonna get what I want. I'm gonna go into the world and I'm not gonna back down until it is that I get what I want. So this may require skill development. This may require persistence. It's going to require thick skin, all these things, right? But at the end of the day, I'm going to get what I want. Number three, I'm a cool guy. I do cool shit. My life is cool, right? And whatever it is that you have to do to actually believe that for yourself, right? So um, if you're going to have a cool life, then what goes into it? Right. You may say, oh, well, I have friends and you know these. Well, you get friends by starting into disciplines. Right. What kind of cool disciplines can you start today? I know I said I wasn't going to tell you to go to the gym, but for example, you could go to the gym and um, what kind of people could you meet there? Right. So have a cool life and tell yourself, hey, I'm a cool guy. Now, having been on both sides of the fence, right, the side of the fence where got no attention from girls, you know, had to chase them and had to make all the mistakes and get my heart broken a million times, right? And then also having been on the other side of the fence in adulthood where, you know, I could date, you know, seven different girls throughout the course of a week. I have been in, I've literally been in both of those places. And what I can tell you is that experiencing the other side of the fence is literally a mind fuck. There are experiences of reality that you would never think possible for yourself given the status quo, given your existing belief system and the way that you're experiencing the world right now. So start asking yourself, what are my limiting beliefs? No matter how much evidence you have for believing those things, what are the things that because I believe them, my experience of reality is suffering. Oh, these 20 girls from the past, they all rejected me. So yes, it's likely that this girl's gonna reject me too. Well, of course it is if you're thinking that way. And you're saying, well, Benny, you know, I'm thinking that way because it's happened in the past. Yeah, but think about it. Before you go approach that next one, you're thinking that way. What happens if despite the last 20 girls that you approached all rejected you and you switch your thinking and say, you know what? I get girls, women like me. And they start smiling and really feeling that even though it's hard to do because you have to fight your physiology on this. But if you think that way, guess what happens? That girl probably is gonna like you. A big portion of getting good with women is this mental acrobatics that we go through. You know, as men that are approaching women in mass, because that's, you know, it is a numbers game. You know, you have to not internalize rejection, but you still have to take action and be connected to the possibility of things working out. So you have to take massive action and forget about all the times the girl says no, right? And you're only logging the positive stuff. And this is what enables us to play that numbers game without taking hits to the self-esteem. Now, if you like what you've heard here and you want to go deeper and you want to start to reshape your belief system so that way it actually serves you instead of hurting you, what I want you to do is, number one, make sure that you're following me over here. So click on my profile, follow me, but also click the link in my profile and apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching where I can help you on a daily basis over the course of a few months, reshape your entire belief system and get the kind of women that you've always wanted, just like I have with many, many other guys.